Hello everybody, my name is Professor Sabrina Isaac Berry. Today is the second part of our American Revolution video. So last time we left off with Benjamin Franklin doing some... We can't say womanizer on our channel. What can we say? What can we say? Unethical things. Alright. So we're back on the battlefield and Britain still is trying to fight. Although it's losing the fight very much. Only strongholds are on around Long Island and a few ships on the coast. The colonies are now attacking and successfully assaulting on the coast. So the thing is, the situation for Britain is looking not good. It's even more not good when the Netherlands join in. Well, not the Netherlands, but still the Dutch. And the Dutch have a huge empire. Well, not really huge. They just own Indonesia. Everything turned around for the 13 colonies, well, not really turned around. They were already winning the fight with just the French, but they couldn't really hold back on Long Island. And I live on Long Island. Plus, on Long Island was one of the biggest cities then, New York City. It's one of the biggest cities in the USA then and now. However, they were still seeing some successes in the British side. Because uh, one of the uh, famous general actually switched from the American to the British side because underrepresentation. How can I say it? And they managed to capture Philadelphia, the old capital of the United States, before they moved it to DC. So if the British just let the Americans go, then our capital would still be Philadelphia. The British now were just falling back because three the powers were just piling on them. The Americans, the Dutch, and the French. The British Parliament was just furious about the war and wanted to make it stop. Plus, Britain was in debt. So, Britain in 1781 started negotiations with the United States and they gained a huge chunk of Britain Indian territory. And that was basically the end of the war. It technically lasted until 1783 when everybody recognized the US, but the last two years were just negotiations. So that's a summary, a very small summary of the United States of America's revolution. And we will see you next time with another revolution that failed within the Southern states. We can call it out about slavery, I don't know secession, whatever you want. But just be prepared for next time.